All right, that's enough screwing around. Oh, wait, maybe it's not. All right, now that's enough screwing around. And after all of that, I'm going to go ahead and save. Halt! Oh, go uh, a rabbit? That's what? Baron home? Depends who's asking. A witcher. A rabbit. I talk to him. Huh. Yeah. And I want to plow the lovely Queen Cero. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way. Nice and all. I did. And it led me here. It led me here. Gotta talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we outnumber him. Yeah, okay. Open the gate. Sergeants. Ardle. Witcher to see the Baron. Don't want Rabbit. any disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Don't wiggle your finger at me. Guard called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Desire. Uh, Temerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. You, uh, that doesn't sound very, um, patriotic. Almost sounds... Okay. Alright, here we are. Infosema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> hey! Seems Enough. like a cheer, fellow. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Me. Hey. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. I know how rude. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. It's just that black. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Okay. Make yourself at home. Okay. It would have put the bloody vodka. I don't think you need more drinks in you. I kind of need you sober ah, right there now. There it is. A snifter. Glad to have a drink. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> ha, a man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell. Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company. Good enough. Yay! Drink up. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Blob Geralt of Rivia. Blob Rabbit of call me Rivia. The Butcher of Blaviken. I said already. I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Sounds like a lot of, uh... Well, it sounds like some dude's really getting it on around here. I'm just saying, you know. 
Can you get to the point? Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? Yep. So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. You don't say. Whoosh. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Oh no, see. Oh, pfft. Whee! Ah. It's quite a tumble you took there. Yeah. Oh, I'm Siri? <laughs> Was close. I must leave this place. Mine. Mine. So I guess I just kind of follow this place. Stupid wolves! Go! She needs help. Oh! That's a new one. Stop it! I love this. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> Whoosh. Who that? You can come down. Now. Hello there. Are you lost? Well, wow, she got down quick. Are you? Yes. Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. I mean, I wouldn't really be but calling sure it we'll lost. We set off together. What happened to you? This? <laughs> it's nothing. I got bit by wolves. What do you think? How is it you're here? How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. But then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. You had one job. Why follow the trail of treats? Your father. Why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had nap to break our fast with. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked. But father said wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats. That would solve things. The fuck? Wow. Times have really just changed. I mean... It's like, okay, my kid broke this jug of milk. Well, off you go. Out of the house. Forever. Bye. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. I don't really I think it was. Can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. The Wolf King? No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree, he was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. Oh. See what I've got on my back. Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Yeah, they do. Come. I'll help you up. <sighs> Mine. Whoa! 
Yeah, they are. I love this. <laughs> Whoosh. Whoosh. Whee. Oh. You're ruining the fun, wolves. Whee. Oh, what? Uh, can't fight it? Eh. Okay, that's actually pissing me off now. Ow! They really go for the back, don't they? Stop it! Come on! Come on! Haha! <laughs> can I drop anything? You can come out now. My, you're brave. My father couldn't even do that. Hmm. Massacred. By something with immense claws. Look! There's something there. What? A dead guy. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. I'm more so concerned by the fact that this kid is looking at a dead body and not freaking out at all. Okay, let's look at the eyes. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Head. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Cool. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. The Wolf King! Legs. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible! Stay there, and look away. Yeah, look away. I'm trying to determine. Hmm. Don't get this. Marrow's missing. Interesting. Oops. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, barely. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you Shut up. Making certain your laces are tied. Yeah. Shut up. Summing the wolf up. King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? What he do you think happened? He got fall. Mm, I bet the Wolf King got him. Then why did you even bother asking? So smart. What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? I'll kick his ass. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. What kind of far more special oil? Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The wolf king will feel terrible, terrible pain. Mm. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? If only you knew. Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Okay. Greco. This is fool's parsley. Hear that? Yes. Hide quickly. Yeah. Hit him. Hit him. Get up. Yeah. 
Get them all. Nope. Stop it. Man. I am not going to be playing Siri to be my end by wolves. Dead. But a pig here? Must be a human settlement nearby. Oh, okay, so I gathered all the parsley now. Alright, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. Why are you blinking that way? It seems a bit strange. What you doing? Greasing my blade. <clears throat> See just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Okay. Well, lead the way, kid. I'm supposed to be following you. Parents often send their children out to follow the sweets. Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the path ends. Uh. You sure about that one, kid? This way, through the cave. You lead. Okay, then. Take this. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. They no. Roar. <laughs> what? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide. Come on, what you got? Stop dodging me. <laughs> cool. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Boy, you really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on. We found a corpse in the woods. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Yaren, oh, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren, the... The little one. No details. Okay, we must get to the village. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Okay. Loading. Ooh, food. A lot of it. Did that kid just bite into a tomato? I mean, don't get me wrong. I like pasta, pasta sauce and stuff, but I, I, I do not like tomatoes raw. I like them being made into something and then basically I will eat them. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. <laughs> well, it might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. The That's likeness. The downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? Oh, you, you are really... see one fucking copper. 
Get out before I set my hands on you. They're really chowing down. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten any. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. You you are really playing with fire and you don't even know. Food. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And Ah, a topic for another time. Oh, come on. Three. No, a topic for now. Talk. That sharpness. What's your tone, with Rabbit. You? We wish to come to an agreement, do we not? We do. Bastard. Gretka, where is she now? The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents. What they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've it's told you already. Kid. A topic for another time. Oh, you... Okay. I get what you're after. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. Ah, oh, no. I propose yeah. an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. I don't know I can trust you. Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. <sighs> Deal. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. Oh, Richard. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Okay. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Well, what do they look like? Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. So she's over Slender 18. Slender lass, about yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Beautiful eyes, green. Like her mother's. Wish I My knew. Wife, I have Anna, rabbit eyes. Has two score winters behind her, though she'd never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tar. Keeps it tied up in a bun. Okay. Have you searched? I mean... You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides... Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks if you're looking to hide someone. This is the place. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Mm. You never, your men ever bother them? Oh. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Oh, my! I devoured another last before her. Oh. Common occurrences in Velen. I... My women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever, and Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing unusual. Okay, did your men ever bother them? This place. Must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? Yeah, this I've place. I've waited for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. 
Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word! Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. You know how many women these days would actually love to have a man like you right about now? Maybe a bit less weight on you, but, you know, I'm pretty sure if some women... Actually, weight doesn't even really matter. They're just looking for love. As for you, you really spoiled them? Damn. Lucky. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got yes. any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any you might have? I've been eating dirt long since. <laughs> I like his style. Need more information, though. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? Yeah, really. I do. Then you need to let me then do... let me work. Yeah. Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. Okay. That's fine. Now let's go ahead. Oh. Do you have anything I can steal from you? Guardian demands. <laughs> when she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> You see it there? Oh, oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Our oh, bedchamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. This is actually a really nice room, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, granted that it is pretty medieval, I mean, I would actually like to have a kind of room like this. A bit more modern, but, you know, very roomy. I like it. Wooden candlestick. Stem's broken. Wooden candlestick. Stem's broken. Okay. Why did you lick it? Oh, and apparently she took all this stuff with her. Maybe she needed it. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Well, well I mean, at least he's hopeful. Hmm. She took these too. Wow. And these. Whoa, no. But I see this. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Where? Oh. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. That's supposed to be the Baron? What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Examine. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm, fight might have happened here. I don't look for clues. Aha! Okay. Oh, what have we here? Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Okay. Ah, uh, a uh -oh. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Okay, let's look for the scent. 
Wee. Wee. You really, I really wish these people would just not do that. Damn, trail breaks off. Talon, something else though. Spruce wood, smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman, protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Are you sure about that? All right, what do we got in here? Incense and an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Stop. Anise, sandalwood, and something else. Saffron. What's this? It's Mara. Uh, dot dot dot. We are more like a family. We support each other and help each other th survive tough moments. Grapple with the past. For each of us has a past. So you needn't worry about anyone digging into yours. We've got a rule. Never ask more than someone offers on their own. The past doesn't matter to us. Only the future does. That our common fight against evil and depravity, against perverse and loathsome practices of all kinds... Uh, More stuff. I really should just be robbing people's houses more often. This is great. You'll not have a stranger paw through their belongings when you pick the wrong person to do so. A doll and candy. Hmm. hmm. Damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. So, a voodoo doll? Or would it be more like an effigy? It's a human effigy. And do you know who that is? That's right, it's you. Oh, what are you going? Don't worry, you'll die over and over again. <laughs> I hated those creepy old ladies. At least on the bright side that she did give me a ladle, which is pretty much just a meme weapon. But, you know. To those who get the reference, you well, get the reference. If you don't, the well, gimp. think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? Okay, I don't want to know what is happening with the, whatever it is that you guys are talking about, but okay. All right, so we're following the scent. Oh, it goes over here. <gasps> Stop! I cannot believe how much they would actually take from the Baron when they were leaving. I don't know how they managed to do it, but they did. I'm sorry to tell you, Baron, but they robbed this house blind. Okay. Oh, unlocked it. Stuff! Those horrible women, they, they took all of it as they were leaving. Can you believe that? Oh god, what is this? Prayer. Oops. Okay, eternal fire which lighteth our hearts and giveth us light. Heat us with thy warmth. Dry our tears, burn our foes, embrace our friends in thy care. Give my mother health, punish my father, help me fulfill my destiny. Oh god. Religious stuff. Ew. An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. That's supposed to be bread. A weird bread. An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. So what you're telling me is that this whole entire time they had this room and it's not even very well hidden. And no one's noticed a thing. Okay. Hey, let me loot that. Yeah, I got it. Right? Yeah. Alright, what's over here? Stuff, stuff, stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're going. Nothing was really in there of interest other than just more stuff to loot. Why is really? your hair so grey, Dodd? Uh, why is it so grey? Sweetie? Don't you call me sweetie. 
I don't care how much you're slurring. You don't call me a sweetie. Hey, what's this? Uh, uh, uh. Stuff, 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 stuff. So then what's over here? Locked. Hmm. <gasps> Look at all that money! Why can't I open it? So I guess if you go in that room, it probably does something to your game, because you're not really supposed to go in there. Alright. What do we got here? There was nothing in there. Other than a waste of time. Huh. An empty bottle. Well, where's the Baron? Oh, he's probably upstairs. Yeah, there he is. All right, Baron. Don't poking around. Found a doll. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? No. I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day, and she saw the sorceress. Tris Merigold insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. <laughs> this is uncanny. So it is supposed to be Tris. Yeah, I see it now. Eerie. Looks just like her. Doesn't it? Time's taken a bit of a towel, but overall it continues to impress. You got something to fall back <laughs> on if things don't work out with Nilfgaard. Yeah, doll, <laughs> doll making. Okay, uh, anything about this amulet? Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Okay. Somebody spilled wine on the landing. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lush is one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. What does it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Really? Signs of a fight in the room. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night... I was drunk, don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing, not a one of them. So... This, this doesn't really make any sense, because there was a fight in there. You were drunk. But... At the same time, it's like no one saw anything. You're sure about this? Because I don't think you're telling me something. But okay, whatever. I'm off to see the Peller. Well, the wonderful Peller of Midcopes. Fair warning, he's a oh, hard no. man to talk to. Rumor has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. 
Uh, a Baron. <gasps> Yay! I leveled. What did I get? Ooh, more points. The Peller. Oh, okay. Okay, I really need to get out of here. I'm tired of these guys trying to clear out their nose. <laughs> Gross. Hate it in here. Whoa. Okay, well, let's get out of here. <laughs> this is just absolutely weird and disgusting. All right, what do we got in here? Gonna kill the monsters, all of them. Hi, Gretka. So you're Gretka. I am, and you're Geralt. Rabbit, How do you know. A fishy white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me. Shaped like a rabbit. What else did she say about me? You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Where? What friend? Siri wanted to help a friend. Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Do you know where Siri is? Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Oh. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Okay. Thanks, so I guess she gave her an emerald? But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Bissell. Bissell. Cool. So, what have we here? Hmm, interesting. Oh, player stash, player stash, player stash, player stash. Uh, go in, go in, go in. So Siri was here. Hmm. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. Hmm. What's this? A spinning top. Gritka's toy. Okay. Okay. Loot. The Natural Obscurity of Curses. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Breedevoort. Where'd Siri get this? To my dear friends Philip and Anna from Count Le Grive, Whatever. Minister of Culture for the Kingdom of... What a long name and title. Uh, blah, 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 blah. A dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Okay, what kind of store? Let's see, I can wear this stuff about next level, so I might as well go ahead and keep it. But I, I really wanted to get rid of that because, as nice as it was, I just can't use it no more. I can use this next level. This I can't use for another seven levels, or rather after that. So basically, that would be another eight levels. These I just straight up can't use, so might as well just toss them. Uh, these I can't even use either, so once again, toss them. This I can use next level. This I can't use for a very long time, so just gonna go ahead and toss it in there. Uh, worth a thousand? Wow. Toss that in there, because level 11 weapon, can't do anything. F sword items. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe the things that are really just causing my inventory to clutter would have to be these items over here. Also, I have these, and I have no idea what to do with them unless I can get it to some place called Vizima. But I can't. Not yet. I wonder if they're actually going to be worth anything. Well, that dumps my inventory a little bit. Oh, yeah. I have skill points to worry about. What do I want? 
character. What do we got here? Additional points and branch needed to unlock three. What? Um, I don't want that. Deflect aerials for appearing. Strong text. Blah, 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 blah. Two points. Um. Well, we're probably gonna need the delusion here because. Yeah, we need the delusion. Oh. Upgrade ability. So we need delusion basically as a passive sort of thing because with delusion, yeah, okay. So basically delusion will really help us out. We can shove this over here now, finally an extra slot. Now we can shove this over here. Oh, we can shove this down here and shove this right over here. Now we gain an extra 10% sign intensity. So what does, target does not move towards Garrett while he is casting Axie. Increases the effects of effectiveness of Axie in dialogues. Reduces Axie casting time. Failed Axie attempts stagger the target. I should probably get a Quinn. Where's your... Quinn, Quinn, Quinn. Yeah, Quinn. See, Quinn would actually be really good right about now. Because with the exploding shield... Yeah, this actually looks like it would be really good. But let's go ahead and see what this is. Alternate sign mode. Emits a continuous stream of fire that damages enemies. Ooh. What's this do? Puppet. Targeted enemy briefly becomes an ally and deals 20% more damage. Oh! <laughs> that looks like it'll be funny. Oh, but it's only worth 7 seconds. Find the Peller's hut. Where'd the Baron go? Guys, this is just absolutely... Well, bring out the gimp. Let me in. That's money. How do I get out of here? Oh, look, the Baron. Might as well save. If I remember right, he's actually a Gwent player. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? <gasps> Let's play Gwent. You're working with Nilfgaard? Why? Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilfgaardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. You have to live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. <laughs> How'd you wind up here? How'd you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. More units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch, once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Ow, oh, boo-hoo. Who cares about what others think? I mean, you're running a pretty great place around here, in a way. You know, you got people protected, peasants. You could pretty much just blow out the bridges and they won't be able to reach you unless they have ladders. In which case, you'd better hope they don't have ladders. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. <laughs> oh, let's play Gwent. Ever play Gwent? 
I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that Ooh. for enticement? Let's play. Let's lay him down. <laughs> All right, we got our deck pretty much set up. We don't really need any weather cards right now, as far as I know. But we really don't have any spy cards either, so this really doesn't really help out. All right, who do I want to reroll here? I want to keep him, keep that, keep that, keep that. Why are these two trebuchets but of the same thing? Castle won't batter itself down now, will it? Get them trebuchets rolling. Choose a card to redraw. Let's redraw her. Okay, we want him. Now, we don't really want him since he doesn't do anything. So, we'll get... Okay, so the Siege Commander, since I've got about four Siege cards here. He's only got about 13 cards in his deck, so he uses about the same as me. So let's go ahead and place this down. Give me those two cards. You're gonna play that? Okay. Now play me one of these. Now we're even. Oh. Hmm. I see you're whipping out the big boys here. I'm gonna save the big boys just in case. Sequin Dijkstra. All right, you're giving me a you're giving me a really a. Uh, I don't think I want to use all my siege equipment right away. Oh, you are really giving me all the spy cards here. I see, but okay. See, I could play one of these right now. But I think... I think he's gonna pass, though. Yeah, he passed. I guess it really wasn't worth it, but let's go ahead and just do that, too. Probably played way too many cards as it is. Place uh, a Dunbanner medic, so that I can put this guy down. Bring him back up. Give him one power. I'm gonna be drawn. Oh! <laughs> all right, all right. That's uh, that's definitely something. Let's go ahead and play one of these. Siege tower. Interesting. I don't really have any other siege equipment, so let's play him. I think I have to go all out on this one, because if I don't... Because I don't know what's in his hand right now. He could have other weather cards. Ah, see, it's a good thing that I... Okay, okay. We gotta go all out. Because if I lose this round, I basically lose the whole match. Because I've got two little cards to actually fight against him right now. And if I if I forfeit the round, he's gonna draw another card and he's gonna have an even bigger advantage. Oh. Okay. He's uh, not playing around. Okay, so basically he's got the cards that really just kind of bond together. But with this... Uh... Oh. Ooh. I don't think I can actually win this one. Okay, so 
This is down. This is down. So if I use my card now. Ooh! The opponent is passed. Yeah? Yeah. He's got nothing left. Yeah! Man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen's short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. Oh. There was also an old soothsayer. Lived east of here, near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad about as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. Oh. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. <laughs> Yeah, we won Sigismund Dijkstra. So I can put Sigismund Dijkstra into my Gwent deck here. And I think with that, we're going to call it there. I've been recording for a very long time now, and I need to absolutely just... I need to edit this down... Do whatever it is that I need to, and then we'll probably go do that notice board. But wow, the story's really coming out here. Also, I did not think that this map would be so huge, but there's still so much to discover, and I love it. I love discovering things. What's all this? What is that? It looks sort of organized, but we'll come back to it next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, please, leave a like, subscribe, share. Do whatever you can to help me out here. I really love it. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya.